Insights to the Spirit, a Bible study brief series from Shorter Community AME Church. This insight shares the subject, Oh, to be blessed. Here are Steve Shepherd and Marva Bay. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 5 through 8. Thus saith Jehovah, Cursed is the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from Jehovah. For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, a salt land, and not inhabit it. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Jehovah, and whose trust Jehovah is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, that spreadeth out its roots by the river, and shall not fear when heat cometh, but its leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Saints, the essence of this passage can best be understood through the answers to a series of interconnected questions. So bear with me for a few moments as I take you on a journey of inquiry. Reverend Gallant, what does it mean to be blessed? Hmm, good question. To be blessed means the favor and love of God has been bestowed upon us. It means to be the beneficiary of all of God's grace and mercy. It means to be the object or the recipient of all of God's acts of kindness. In other words, it means to be overflowed with joy because of all the great things God has done in our lives. So why are we blessed? What's the reason for a blessing? We are blessed because we trust in God. To trust in God means to, to believe God will work out the impossible and fix the unfixable. Uh, to trust in God is to expect God to show up in due time and show out. Uh, to trust in God is to, to wait on God to deliver us from our fiery furnace of despair. In other words, to trust in God is to believe God will never leave us nor forsake us. Mr. Mike, why should we trust God instead of trusting man or even trusting ourselves? Because God is reliable. God is true to his character. God can never be anything other than who he is. Not only is God reliable, but God is trustworthy. God, what God says, God will do. In addition to that, God is dependable. God will never become weary or tired. God's strength will never fade, nor his power grow dim. Yes, saints, God is faithful. But Reverend Michael, I have a question. What are the benefits of trusting God? Trusting God produces a bold, fearless, and courageous spirit within us. It makes us strong, stable, and sturdy as we journey through this harsh and heavy realities of life. It produces a rooted life, a life connected to God, a life that doesn't fear, doesn't worry, and always produces good fruit. In other words, trusting God produces a blessed life. Let us pray. Holy and precious God, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for allowing us to see another day. Holy and precious God, help us to keep on trusting in you. Lord, you're trustworthy, you're reliable, you're dependable, and above all, Lord, you're faithful. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name this we pray, amen, amen, amen. Reverend Michael Gallant. To gain the full value of this online Bible study, go to shorterame.org. Click on the link, Insights to the Spirit, Study Materials, Oh to be Blessed. Experience uplifting, inspirational, spiritual insights like this, Sundays at Denver's Shorter Community AME Church. Reverend Timothy E. Tyler, Pastor.